is that time of the year. All right, here we go. Oh, iPhone 15 Pro Max. All right, I skipped the iPhone um, 14. I had the 13, I had the 11, 12, 13. I had most, pretty much all of them straight up from the original iPhone up to 13. Then I took a pause on 14 because I said, you know what, I'm gonna buy the 15. And, and the main reason why I took the pause on the 14 was the 14 went into the eSIM. And I like to change my phones often. And I just like to um, change the SIM chips, uh, the SIM cards rather, and just, uh, you know, change your phones. I like to change your phones. Sometimes I want to run an Android for a period of time. Sometimes I want to run a, a, a Apple for a period of time. So I just skipped the 14, the eSIM. However, I decided to hold on to the iPhone as my personal phone. I still have an Android phone as my business phone. Um, but that's the reason why I went to uh, the 15 this time and skipped the 14. It was because of the eSIM. All right, let's take a look. All right, here we go. Ah, I just go like this. Bam. Bam. Oh yeah. I got the natural titanium. All right, that's straightforward. Here we go. Okay, you get you do get the braided uh, USB C. Yes, it is USB C. All right. Put this to the side. All right, let's take a look at it. All right, there you go. Straightforward. Now with this eSIM, all you have to do is just cut it on and it will automatically connect. It will just connect on its own. I'm still not a fan of the eSIMs, but it is what it is. I made a backup of my iPhone uh, last night. However, it did say on my um, account that I have a temporary backup and it's supposed to move everything over, but I'm not too sure because I got a lot of passwords and stuff in here. I'm not sure if that backup that's on the iCloud is the same as the backup on your computer. All right, English. All right. Just bring your phone near. All right. Right, restoring the phone, doing the old-fashioned way with the cable. See how this works out. All right, here we go. Restore is complete. Face ID, set it up later. Passcode for my account. All right, it looks like everything is here. I just have to wait for my apps to load, like my Tesla app, like it's still thinking. Some of the apps are like it's grayed out, still hasn't finished coming in. So I'm gonna let this cook for a little while. Now, only had the phone for about an hour now, but uh, two hours maybe, maybe about an hour and some change. Um, If I had an iPhone 14, I would not upgrade because uh, pretty much it's the same thing. You know, you get a better camera if you're going for the Pro Max. However, I don't think that justify too much of upgrading. The, the main thing you would get is the USB-C. And if you already have the USB-C, um, uh, I mean, if you already have the Lightning port, 
and you and you you know willing to up to to, to to go to the USBC, I mean that's a consideration. But I really don't think it's very important, especially you're gonna give up all your accessories and everything. So, however, if you're coming from a twelve, even a thirteen, you know the thirteen is a this will make a good upgrade. But like I said earlier, my main the, well, the main reason why I didn't upgrade to the 14 last year was the eSIM. However, um, I decided, you know what, I'm going to hold on to Apple a little longer. That's why I got the 512 uh, storage. I'm going to keep this for a little while, at least until the 17, and uh, see how it works out. With that said, back to Apple full time, and let's see how it works out. Peace.